The Bible tells us in John chapter number one that when the disciples saw Jesus Christ, they said, you know, we found the Messiah, which is being interpreted the Christ. And so Jesus is the Messiah. And the Bible makes it very clear that Messiah means Christ because it says, which being interpreted, you know, they're telling you the meaning of it, the definition of it, it means Christ. That's how you would say Messiah in the New Testament because it's Greek. In the Old Testament, Jesus Christ is called the Messiah. In Hebrews chapter, I'm sorry, not Hebrews, uh, book of Daniel, chapter 9, verse 25, it says the Messiah, the Prince of Peace, you know, uh, after a certain amount of days, it says that he shall be cut off. It's talking about when Jesus was crucified for our sins. It was Old Testament prophecy of the Messiah. And when we go to the book of Psalm chapter number two, when it talks about the heathen raging, it says, why do the heathen rage? You know, they rage against his anointed. Now, you may be wondering, who is the anointed? Well, when you go to Acts chapter four, that same verse is quoted in Acts chapter four. Only this time, it doesn't say anointed, it says Christ. So, Messiah means Christ. Christ means anointed. What does it mean when the Bible says that Christ is anointed? Well, he is the anointed King of Kings, Lord of Lords. He's the chosen Savior. He was appointed to be the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, the Savior of mankind, is what the Bible says. He was chosen to do all those ministries, the Lamb of God. Uh, he was appointed as, again, the judge of all of the, the, the universe. That's what the Bible tells us. Now, there's a reason why I brought up all those passages of Scripture. There's a reason why I had to help define what Messiah and Christ means. You see, there's a false prophet out there, John Hagee. And long story short, he says that Jesus Christ did not come to be the Messiah the first time Jesus showed up on the scene. Well, that's blasphemy. That is heresy. That is false doctrine. The Bible tells us that when Jesus came, John chapter 1 makes it very clear. They confess that he was the Messiah. John chapter 1 tells us that his disciples saw him and they said, We have found the Messiah, which being interpreted is the Christ. You can't get around that. That's in the Word of God. In the New Testament, Jesus came the first time to be the Messiah. In fact, why is it that in the book of 1 John, I believe in chapter 2, it says that if you deny that Jesus is the Christ, you are an antichrist. So right there, when it's telling us that when you get saved and you confess that Jesus is the Christ, you're saying Jesus is the Messiah. You're saying that he is the Savior, the anointed one. Jesus Christ was worshipped even as a king when he came here because they acknowledged that he was the Messiah, the anointed king of kings. Uh, they made it very clear that uh, Jesus Christ is Lord of all. You find that all over the New Testament, the epistles, they all confess that he is king of kings and lord of lords. John Hagee says that when Jesus comes the second time, that's when he will become the Messiah because, uh, you know, the New Testament tells us that Jesus Christ will come a second time to rule this earth. But here's the thing. He's, he's already ruler. He's always been. He's in heaven sitting on the right hand of God, the Bible says, on the right hand of the throne of God. So he has authority. And even the Bible tells us uh, that Jesus Christ, uh, he's ruler over all. The Bible says that he's the head of the church. So Jesus Christ is the head of the church, meaning he's the one who oversees the whole entire house of God. The pastor is the under shepherd, but Jesus is mainly in control. He is the overseer of all the churches of God. So let me tell you something. This guy, John Hagee, he's a false prophet. He's not saved and he's following another Christ. He's not following the Jesus of the Bible. If he's saying that Jesus Christ is not the Messiah, it's because he's following another Messiah who is not the Bible-based Messiah. He's not the Messiah in Scripture. He's following another Jesus. And for him to say that Jesus Christ did not come the first time as the Messiah just shows you he's Antichrist. John Hagee is an Antichrist. And let me just make this clear. The term Antichrist in the Bible doesn't just mean to be in opposition against Christ, although that's how our society says it today. But if you read the Bible... The word antichrist basically means to come in the place of Jesus. It means that when the Bible talks about antichrist, plural, it's talking about people who worship another Messiah, another Jesus, the, the Jesus that doesn't exist in the Bible, because our Jesus is real and our Jesus is king. And if you're following some other Messiah, you're not one of us and you're definitely not saved. So that's the problem today with people like that. And uh, it's very clear in scripture these people follow another Christ. 
and John Hagee follows another Christ and he's not saved, he will split hell wide open. Let me tell you something, Hagee. I follow the Jesus of the Bible. I follow the Christ in the, the Word of God. That is my Messiah. And if Christ is not your Messiah, you're a false prophet and you're going to hell. And I'm again, I'm here to preach the truth. I'm here to encourage you guys and I'm here to tell you what the Word of God says. And if you're not saved, it's time for you to believe the Messiah of the Bible. It's time for you to get born again. God bless you all.